Hello all. In this video, I'm going to show um, what are the different uh, methods available to debug the Groovy scripts. So the very first method is um, writing a println statements and then uh, track that in a runtime messages. So that is a, a very basic and first method. So using this runtime messages, so just uh, put println statements and then uh, uh, see the runtime messages uh, after enabling this checkbox. So this is first, first method. And then second method is uh, The second method is uh, instead of uh, println's, so if you want to uh, break or show uh, the println, uh, the variable value or the return value at the runtime itself, uh, means when, I, when we are testing, we can use validation error message. So we can throw a validation uh, message using, uh, so throw, throw dot uh, throw new oracle jbo validation exception so using this we can um, we can throw so that is the second method and the another method is uh, groovy debugger so which is the oracle provided tool so that uh, tool is will be available in uh, uh, in Stan will be available for both uh, standard object and uh, custom object. So if you click on standard objects or custom object, so uh, so anywhere, uh, if it is a standard object, you uh, and you want to debug uh, a script related to contact or uh, contact, that is a standard object, you need to click on standard objects. If it is a custom object, then click on custom object. So in our case, I'm going to show, uh, I'm going to explain a scenario I'm taking contact script. So I'm clicking on standard objects. And uh, here we have a few icons, actions, create uh, create new object or edit new object, right? Or refresh and then um, creating child object for the uh, object that we selected. And the last option is, uh, debugger user interface. So this is called Groovy. Uh, so this is the tool that Oracle provided to debug the script. So click on this, a new tab will be opened. A new tab will be opened uh, with Oracle script debugger. So So, uh, uh, so this is the screen of uh, uh, debugger, script debugger. So here, how we can use this uh, particular uh, this particular tool to debug the scripts, right? So um, first, um, we will clear all the uh, previous actions so that we'll get. Uh, uh, The very first step is select object that you wanted to debug. Select object and the respective script to debug. So in this case, I'm going to select uh, contact. So uh, if there is at least one script uh, in field level, right? In field level. So then we will get uh, the, uh, the related object, the related if it is a field scripts, so we will get here. Uh, field level triggers, we will get here. Okay. So if it is a um, if it is a field level rule, uh, it will. If it is a field trigger, it will be under triggers uh, in the respective field. 
if it is a field level validation rule it will be in the folder called rules for the same field but if it is a uh, object validation rule it will be uh, here in the in the rules directly for this object and if it is a object trigger it will be uh, here with the folder called triggers but for fields it will be field and then inside that there will be uh, field triggers or validation uh, or rules and if any object function is written so that is also present here uh, with a folder called functions okay so now uh, first we need to select the op script uh, to debug so in this case i am going to track uh, the validation rule object validation rule that is defined at a uh, uh, object level in contact object so once we select that the script uh, once we select the script so the whatever the script we have in the uh, in the rule it will be displayed in the middle of the screen so after that after that we need to uh, give the breakpoints so uh, whatever uh, breakpoints we will give so the script while executing the script it will stop there and it will store this uh, store the variables or uh, store the it will return a print uh, it will return like a print lens in the uh, variable sections okay so then how do we define breakpoint so just um, uh, click on the number of line just click the line numbers where we want to track so suppose uh, line number 1 so you can see a red color mark or a, or a red color mark so that is how uh, like it it will mark it will uh, it will break and it will print the values okay and then uh, wherever i am i want i'm just uh, putting breakpoints so uh, once you uh, select the same breakpoints will be selected uh, in the uh, in in action so if you want to remove we can remove it from here also so similarly for the next script i'm i'm going to just take a few breakpoints and then i'll just so these are all my breakpoints now <clears throat> i wanted to trigger this script so for triggering the script so we need to go to the same uh, uh, we need to trigger this validation rule to valid uh, for this validation so i am going to update uh, a contact so that this particular validation rule will trigger i don't have any condition so if i update any uh, any of the field it will uh, it will update suppose uh, i am going to update this one affinity field and i am selecting save so now <clears throat> okay so before that uh, uh, so the error pop up immediately the reason because um, uh, it didn't go through this uh, script de debugger because we have not started the debugging so before testing we need to click this start debugger so cancel and run debugger and now retest so now go, now switch to uh, script debugger tab and now you can notice uh, first line uh, is is debugged and it showed in, in the stack and also in the below uh, under variables we can see the record number 
the record number for this uh, uh, contact you can see here that is this party id and to proceed and it stopped currently and if you want to go to next line we should click on uh, step over uh, button so just click step over to proceed uh, to execute next line now we can notice it executed the uh, second line and it, it printed the values so current email has no value and email doesn't have any value email collection it it has a value uh, it assigned the first record value overall primary email okay overall a uh, primary so it 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 assigned a value so and uh, so like this uh, just click to proceed for uh, to execute next lines we can see a uh, t phone number phone number is null and t phone number to execute this line we'll just click again step over phone number is again null And this last step is uh, phone number. So phone number is also null. So it printed all and it came to uh, return false. So it came to return false. Okay, so it, it now, uh, if we complete this uh, uh, debugging process, the error will be back uh, thrown to the UI. So until unless we, if we can see this code is uh, still running, it, it won't throw any error. So either uh, so if you want to uh, step out, we can we can just click on this, or uh, if you want to run again, we can click on this run. But we'll just try to. So, yeah, it's completed. Now, if we see error is thrown now. So, after completing all the debugging steps, the error got uh, error is thrown to the UI. So, the main use of uh, this script de debugger is uh, just to uh, get the values without much println and statements. So, so with the live script, we can just uh, debug what is happening uh, to the scripts, or it is going into which loop and what is the what is the value it is taking, and how it is uh, going line by line. So all that we can track using this uh, uh, debugger. We don't need to write any println statements or any validation messages to to see the uh, messages. So that is the only advantage of this uh, uh, script debugger. Uh, so yeah, so that is all about uh, script debugger tool. Thank you.